Hi, I'm Jane. I'm the pharmacist and uh, we're going on a tour of the pharmacy right now. When the people have finished from outpatient clinic, their next stop would be the pharmacy uh, to pay their bill and to collect their medicine. So first they line up uh, to turn in their cards and collect a receipt. From this line they move to the next window to pay their bill uh, and then the receipt is stamped. And then they come to this side and hopefully they will sit down or stay back from the window so that we can we call them by name and they come up to hand in their receipt and collect their medicine. Inside the pharmacy um, there's an area for the, the workers and their immediate family members to come in and collect their medicine so they don't have to wait in the line. So, the pharmacy is both an inpatient and outpatient facility. This um, is the outpatient part. Uh, the billing clerk and the cashier are here, the other side of the window. Once the person has given their card to the uh, billing clerk, we collect them from him and then sort them into ones that need to be counted and things that can be filled from our prepack area here. We spend about the first two hours every morning counting so that these we can keep our fast movers uh, filled and also one person spends a couple of hours filling bottles with uh, different kinds of syrup for the children. Then we have two places where a worker can um, dispense to the people. He calls them up as he gets to their card. They give him the receipt and then he gives them the medicines and tells them how to take. If they have to go anywhere from here, like to theater or for x-ray or back to lab, then we uh, can route them back after, after leaving here. The, the cards uh, that need counting are done over here um, and the, the bulk containers are, are stored here. The hospital, uh, since we're a hospital, we also do the inpatient medications and we also calculate the bills. So every morning, one, at least one person spends most of the morning calculating bills for discharges and if someone has died, then we collect, calculate the bill for the um, uh, people to pay to collect the uh, death certificate. And we do have insurance there is insurance in Africa. Insurance, they're called schemes. There's several different ones who utilize the hospital. Uh, these people have paid a, a yearly premium so they don't pay when they come here, but we have to sort their cards out because there's a, a form inside which has to be completed. So one person does that. We have three workers who spend most of their day counting. Um, getting things prepared for the, um, the fast pack, fast pick area. We, <clears throat> once a week, um, we manufacture our IV fluids. Distilled, the water's distilled and then it's stored here in the IV room, which is a separate room altogether. Um, we have a, a balance and our chemicals, dextrose and sodium chloride and some other um, electrolyte solutions. There's a filter system that is put together. The solution is filtered, the bottles are filled, a, a rubber cap and a ring are put on, and then they're brought over here uh, to be autoclaved. After they're autoclaved, then each bottle is labeled as to what kind of solution it is. And the bottles have to be washed before we can, before we can use them. One person each morning uh, fills the unit dose trolley for the wards. Normally they get a 24-hour supply of medications for each patient. So there's an individual drawer, um, there's a Cardex that has that person's name on it and the list of drugs. So there's a, a mini dispensing area here for this person. We also compound several different ointments and we make quinine syrup for the children. So we use our KitchenAid mixer for uh, blending the um, ointments and uh, after, after the attachments are all um, washed, then we can use it to uh, make the quinine syrup. It, 
it has a lot of sugar in it, so it has, you have to use hot water to dissolve it and make sure everything is blended well. This area is for the nurses from the wards and the ward aides. The trolleys are brought here, and then as the person filling them is ready, he pulls one in and sends the other one out. The, they, the ward personnel bring us charts for bills to be calculated or when they're ready for discharge. And Cardex is for new orders. When we're finished with the charts, then we put them in the other tray so they know they can be picked up and taken back. Um, in the afternoon, the person who has filled the, the carts will take one of these trolleys and go around to each ward and supply them with IVs and medications that are used for initial doses and you know, kind of emergency admissions. Um, the last stop on the pharmacy tour is our storeroom, which looks like a storeroom, all boxes and storage of different kinds of things. We can store quite a bit in here and uh, we have a, a metal shipping container for overflow medicines. And then we keep the computer back here because it's less dust and there's air conditioning, so it works better. We also keep uh, refrigerated items. We have two refrigerators. Uh, in one of them, we keep the anti-snake venom so that it can be signed out uh, to the wards. Um, we treat about um, 500 snake bites a year, uh, poisonous snake bites, I guess. And uh, so we have to keep the anti-venom refrigerated along with some other medications. So that's the pharmacy.